Hi guys, my name's Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and this is another episode of our driving range series about how you're going to get better through the winter, ready into next year and play much better. And this is one of my most favourite drills ever. I love this drill, I use this quite a bit in lessons. I sometimes think practicing on the mat can hide a bad strike. So perhaps on the mat, you don't always appreciate hitting behind the golf ball, so hitting this zone here. Now, what can happen is the club can actually hit this zone here, bounce, and actually hit the golf ball well. It can, you can actually make contact to the ball without really knowing that you've hit it incorrectly, let's say. So I, I'll see that sometimes. So this, this to me is a drill that you should practice probably every practice session just to remind your swing to where it should be hitting. So the optimum strike point for an iron is to hit beyond the golf ball. We want to hit the ground here somewhere. We want to hit beyond the golf ball. So letting the club hit the ball first and then hitting the ground straight after. Now, like I said, this drill is just going to help promote that. And for me, it helps promote the movement to the left coming through the ball and helps us move the bottom of our golf swing to the left to help you strike the ball better. So if I just set up to the ball as normal, so this is a seven iron ball, it's just in front of centre for myself. I'm going to roll that ball maybe about three or four inches forward, but put the club back. So you can see now there's a gap between the club and the golf ball. I'm going to hit the ball from that spot. So I'm not going to move my club, I'm going to hit the ball from that spot. So as I swing, it's encouraging me to move my weight to the left, move my body weight closer to the target and strike beyond where the club started from. Now generally, the outcome will be a left shot. Expect a left shot, certainly for right in the golf, because the club is going round its kind of natural arc to the left, and you're not, you, your, your club's not used to the ball being in that position. So I'm going to play that again. So roll it forward, three or four inches, put the club back, so it'll feel like the ball's way inside your left heel, club's in its normal location, and I want you to hit that golf ball. And the strike quality is just fantastic you can really you can really sense that the club is moving beyond the golf ball and striking really well then you can advance it back to setting up normally so i'm going to use a probably a broken tee peg i'm going to just use a little broken tee peg that i'm going to put forward now you can use anything here you could use a something that you don't mind hitting out into the driving range something not too heavy or hard. Now, set up normally this time, ball position just in front of centre for a seven for myself, and you're gonna try and feel like the golf ball is where that tee spot is. So you're feeling like you're trying to hit beyond the golf ball still. It's gonna help you keep your weight moving to the left and will absolutely eliminate strikes that happen here. And because they're the killers and they're the ones when practicing at a driving range on a mat can quite easily be hidden. So set up normally and I'm going to try and hit, almost try and hit that tee peg. And that way you hit the ball first and the floor after, your body weight's moving to the left and you really strike it well. I would advise you to do that practice drill with irons every time you come down to driving range just to remind your swing where it should be hitting. And it's a fantastic way of making sure that you strike the ball first, the floor after, and don't fall into the trap of hitting the ground first when practicing off a mat. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Check out all my other driving range series videos to help you improve over the winter. Look forward to seeing you next time. Comment down below, like the video, and that's hitting beyond the golf ball to improve your strike connection. Thanks for watching, guys.